Hey Everybody. YouTube, it's Faye. And hang in there. Yeah. And Danny. And Danny. And for today's video, we're here working on my cylinder head. We've got, uh, we've got a cool situation going on. I actually brought my other cylinder head. Um, actually, one of my, one of my many. This is one of three spare cylinder heads that I had because um, I was too cheap to order a bunch of pucks. No, that's not true. <laughs> I just had a bunch of pucks, yes. a bunch of shims. I call them pucks. They're shims though, right? Yes. They're, These little they're guys right here. They are called there. There you go. Okay. And we're going to be installing them. We're measuring them to see if they're going to make this valve adjustment complete and perfect. So you, um, you never throw away even an old head. Never throw um, away. I call them a poker shims, but um, we're just getting... Right, writing down what they all are. They're all a different thickness. So they may look the same. There's a shim. Here's what I've done. And that's 119,000, 118, 117, 15, 14. And I'm just laying them out to what we have. Then we look at our adjustment and we know that if we need to change something, it was a, a 7.5, it's now an eight. You can tell what they were before and what they are after. When the head first came in, the very first thing we do is we wanna just check what all the valve adjustment is. Right. We, we wanna see what, what it came in at because we're gonna keep everything in order and if your head was adjusted right, it's, it saves a lot of time. So when you tear the head apart, you don't wanna just throw everything into a bucket. All your shims, <laughs> each one of these shims is specific for every valve. Yes. So it's a specific, you know, a thickness. It can be moved anywhere, but if you move it, it'll make it either t tighter or looser. Mm. So all this in here, like the exhaust should have been 10. It was at 7 thousandths. So that's 0 0.007. And that's 3 thousandths, 4 thousandths, 5 and a half or 6, 8. So you can kind of see that they were all too tight. So these is the exhaust side. We want 10 thousandths clearance. We're gonna get more on the exhaust and the intake because of the heat and expansion. Hmm. So the intake stays cooler, so you don't have to get as much. I'm just gonna chime in here and say that's a really nice valve adjustment that I paid for. That's, that was really nice, spot on. And where we got those numbers from, uh, actually, I've got the factory repair manual right here, but there are different specifications for my new camshafts. So, where are they? Yes. There we go. There you go, this is from uh, Ryan Crower. And came that, with, came in the box. It came in the box, and this is what they want. They want eight thousandths valve clearance on the intake, and they want ten on the exhaust. And there's millimeters if y'all are in the in a millimeter world. That's fine. <laughs> and I'm not going to judge. We're not judging here. Um, that's what you want. So if the clearance isn't right, if the clearance is too tight, once the he the head heats up, it'll expand and the valve will stay open. Yeah. Yeah. If the clearance is too loose, it'll just make noise. It ain't necessarily going to going to burn a valve but it is gonna to be too loose. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make all of them exactly the same so that we have six cylinders connected by a common crankshaft. Yes. So we want six individual engines all connected <laughs> by one common crankshaft, but we want them all to be identical. All be identical. perfect. Yes. And I saw that you had already gotten quite a few of them perfect. I mean, I see yes. eight with a check mark and eight with a check marks. So obviously, you want eight on this side. Mm -hmm. And then I see some where you're, you know, we're here, 8. here. 5 and you're just like, that's close enough, but I'm a perfectionist. I'm going to try to make it eight. <laughs> yes. This one used to be 10 and now it's an eight and 8.5. If I'm within a half, no one's going to go within a half. Generally, all the specs are going to give you about two thousands. This is, go look in your oh. book and yes. So normally, we're doing Brian Carr. We want them all exactly the same, but generally it's um, eight to ten on the intake. Is it? If you don't know and you can't find a book and you're not by a computer and you don't have the Google machine and you're old school, you can pretty much always rely on eight to ten on the intake, ten to twelve on the exhaust. Well, then how are they going to be watching this video? Well, that's what, <laughs> well, if you're out in the field, but you learned this now from the video, and later on you're in the woods, and you're, 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 you're just got a memory and you remember, generally no one's going to get to one number. Right. It's going to be a window. It's going to okay. be a window. Okay. Um, that's a difference from production specs right. and blueprinting. Right. When, right. You, when you blueprint something, you pick a number and you stick to it. Mm -hmm. It's blueprinted. It's perfectly at the spec that you wanted. When it's production spec, a manufacturer would lose their ass if, excuse me. Would, you know, if you had to get everything Bingo. exactly, so there's a window. All right, let's so try the thinnest one possible. Yep. So, stick that down in there. Let's wow. take a little valve back up in there. Oh, yeah, so the four. And there you go. I can feel. So you got a loose four. Intake, we want eight. So whatever shim is in there right now, we want it 4,000 smaller than eight. Is it right about the four or five? Yeah, it's right about five, because four is a little loose and six is a little tight. Okay, and when it's in there, you can push it in. You can tell the difference up there. You get a feel of it. So yep. what is something about about 3,000 thinner than that? 
Okay. Okay. Well, we don't well, have anything. Yes. So now these are the things. Since it's the thinnest one, we're not going to cut three thousands off the Kim. We'll be here forever. But I can take a couple of thousands off, off the Kim. Off the valve. Yeah. And even if I got, if I did four thousands, and then we ended up using one in the middle, we'd be okay. So let's go cut a valve. Let's go cut a valve. So I'm going to set this up. That is rad. So basically, right here, I just set at yep. my, my zero. It's real dirty. Don't don't look at the <laughs> don't be hating for the, how dirty it is. But there's my zero there. So I'm okay. gonna go in here and I'm gonna touch the stone. You see where it's touching yep. my stop? I'm touching the stone. We're gonna lock our stone in. Now the head cannot move, and all we can do is just cut right there. So okay. now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like that. Put some oil down, some coolant, and now. I'm just gonna turn the dial till it just touches. We know we want two or three or something. You can hear right there, just touching. Yep. So let's go ahead and cut one, two, three thousands. And that's basically it. We just took our three thousands off the stand. That was stand. it. Oh my gosh. So now we we'll head back over. So, there we go, back to the head. Back to number six. I'm gonna go for gold. Well, now I'll put six thousands in there and see. Ooh. All right. <gasps> yep. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's we really real, good. Yeah, we're we're, we're, yeah. Yeah, no, check it because it still rotates a little bit. And that's, so that's the eight. eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So at this point, what I would do is I get the eight, and then it's really close. We're, I mean, it's just like maybe a half thousand, so there's that half that we always. So there you go. So the, the seven, seven is, the seven is, 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 we're right at about seven and a half. So we just need a, a half a thousand. <laughs> we're right there. Just very little, okay. So in this same instance, we only need a half. We could leave it there. No one's gonna go with as, as precise as we're doing. But what we could do is, we can most definitely do that. But let's start off with, what number was this one? One eleven and a half. And, and do I need to lubricate this or anything like that? No, because we're not doing it. We're just uh, basically, you're gonna see, you're gonna be doing a lot and we're gonna take off a quarter of a thousand. It's just not, I just do it in an X pattern. I'll do it one way and then I'll turn it do it the other way to get a nice pattern. And we're just, like I said, it's very little gonna come off. We don't need very much. So right now we're just basically gonna polish it. Um, and it's just like back and forth like this. Mm -hmm. And then you now, rotate it Yep. 90 degrees. And then look at it, if you got a nice pattern, it, look at that. Well, we'd see how we, we just barely just cleaned it. And then flip it and clean the other side. And I bet you if we put it back on and try it, we might already be on the money. We're just, like I said, that, that's a hardened uh, puck. So you're, yes. you're not really taking off. You could be here for an hour and take off maybe a half thousand, so. Oh, that's nice. Go. Yeah, yeah. How's that? is that showing up good on that? I think, I feel like it is. Look at that. Yeah, so it's really oh. just a nice little, you know, polished finish almost. Yeah, looking. yeah. You can tell that it doesn't really remove it. So now all we've done is we basically have cleaned it really good. So we're going to take it out of there and try it. Okay. See if that was just enough I'm to wipe it off. We need it. Yes. That might be there. Didn't take much. And all we needed was a half. We needed five to tenths of a thousand. Yeah, because like you're saying, like you can just feel you, it. You can just feel the, the you can just feel it the, like, that it's snug when you push as hard as you can. Yep. And if it's too tight, the the bob will spin because it's it's not sitting on the seat. It's just sitting on the tip. I think you got it. I think so. I don't really know though. <laughs> Still learning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's you a tell feel. me. Okay. Yeah, I know. I gotta I gotta calibrate the hands. Yeah, just uh, um, the way I'll know is I'll just go to. The seven will go in effortlessly. Yep. And then the nine won't go in. Yep. Until you know our eight, but we can also see just how the it feels. Oh, it's an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Can you imagine if you're doing all of these and then in a car? No. You know, like you said, <laughs> Um, that's why they give you a window and everybody's gonna just try to hit that window so that the valve's not too tight and you're not popping out the intake or the exhaust and it's not too loose and it's just making a little noise. But getting them all just right, really gonna make a difference. Yeah. It's really gonna make a difference. Now you only got a few more to go. Yay! 